518 Sports, 518 Sports.com. I'm Connor Hall, joined today by Jamil Warney, who played basketball for Stony Brook University and is currently working out for a number of NBA teams. Jamil, you ready to get things started? Yeah, I'm ready. Now, Stony Brook and Long Island isn't typically nationwide known for basketball, but you certainly put them on the map this year with your 43 point outburst in the American East Championship game. How did you pull off that performance? Uh, just uh, not wanting to lose. Uh, my last game uh, at Stony Brook, just uh, wanted to uh, just show the fans that, are pre- uh, that we appreciate them and finally uh, achieved our dream of going to the tournament. Now, there was over 4,000 people there and thousands of other watching on national television. How was that atmosphere there? Oh, unbelievable. Uh, we gained a lot of exposure uh, after that game. Uh, uh, after we won, it was just really crazy how a lot of – uh, notifications got on our phones. Uh, a lot of people just blowing our phones up, saying "great job." Uh, a lot of people blowing us up on Twitter, Instagram, all our social media. So it was great to uh, actually try to be like be famous for a day. You have won the America East Player of the Year three times and were placed on the midseason Naismith watch list this past season. What have you done to be able to compete at one of the highest levels in the nation? Uh, just improving every year, just having the confidence to know that I'm one of the best players in the uh, country, uh, just uh, showing my talent, sticking to what I do the best, and uh, just having my teammates just help me, give me give me the ball, and just uh, uh, look at me as their leader. Jamil, you scored over 2,000 points and had over 1,000 rebounds as a, as a Seawolf, putting yourself on a list with Tim Duncan, Christian Leitner, and the great Patrick Ewing to, to do so. Is that pretty surreal to know that you have accomplish something that so few players have ever done? Uh, yes, uh, it's absolutely great to uh, be a part of that list, just knowing uh, they're great NBA players and they're also really good college players. So just uh, just show the consistency that we had, uh, that small group of people have, and uh, it's just great to be a part of that list. Now, I follow you on Twitter, so I know that you have a great relationship with former U Albany basketball player Peter Hooley, and not to bring up some rough times – to be a Seawolf, but he hit that shot against you guys to send you Albany to the NCAA tournament. What's it like being such great friends with him, and what's it like competing against him on the court? Uh, he's a great guy, um, all-around great guy. I mean, he's a good, good basketball player. Um, I'm happy for him. Uh, he's a three-time uh, tournament champion, so it's, it's great to uh, be friends with him. Uh, he's a winner. Uh, great to go against him because he's a great competitor, so it's the best of both worlds. Now, what was it like leading your college to their first ever NCAA tournament and finally, in your senior year, being able to play in that March Madness atmosphere? Oh, it was great to finally just uh, finally accomplish what we wanted to achieve. Um, just a lot of hard work that I've been putting in, not only for this year, but the past three years I've been there. And the past four, past few years, uh, Coach Spiker was there. So it just it finally happened. It uh, finally just made all, all the hard work pay off. Now, you guys matched up against a great Kentucky team in the first round of the NCAA tournament. You played against some of the top talent in the nation. You know, there's going to be five or ten players from that team going to the NBA. What was it like matching up against Coach Calipari and the Kentucky Wildcats? Uh, he's a great coach. Uh, they had great players, uh, uh, crazy length. Uh, they were really tall. Uh, they are great in every position, not not uh, that much weaknesses in their game. So it was a great experience to play against them. Uh we didn't uh, expect like, the outcome to be that bad, but uh, it, it was whatever. We um, we were happy to get there and uh, have a little exposure for the, the uh, university. Now, you are Stony Brook's all-time leading scorer and will go down as arguably one of the best power forwards to ever touch the hardwood there in Long Island. What are you going to miss most about being a Seawolf? Uh, just every day interaction with, uh, with the fans, uh, with the uh, community, the athletic directors, uh, just the operation we, I've been a part of the last four years. Uh, it's so easy to uh, be a family in that uh, environment. So I miss that the most. Now, you've been working out for a number of NBA teams in the past couple of weeks, including the Boston Celtics, and are projected 138th in the latest mock draft. What are you working on to improve your game for the next level? Just uh, uh, keep staying in great condition. Um, uh, obviously, my, one of my some of my weaknesses: jump shot, handling the ball, um, and just uh, 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 refreshing my strength. So just staying uh, staying in the low post, uh, keep my strength like that, and just 
the king won't continue to be all about a good player. Now, the NBA playoffs obviously going on right now. Jamil, who are you rooting for to win it all this year? Uh, was room for the Celtics and the Spurs. I mean, the Celtics and the Spurs, but they're they're awesome. I'm just a I'm just a, a bias in there now, and uh, hopefully just want a, a great uh, end into the, the playoffs. Now, if you could pick one team to go for and play right now, where would you see yourself fitting in the most? Um, probably the Spurs. I mean, they're a great coach, a great system that uh, can really help uh, people like. Uh, me, I guess, in, in a way, just uh, to just better my situation and just to reach my full potential. You know, is it pretty surreal to think that one day you could be playing for one of the greatest coaches of all time and Greg Popovich along with one of the best franchises or really any NBA team for that matter? Yeah, it's a surreal experience, but I felt like I put myself in the best position to try to get get into that situation. Uh I've worked hard. I feel like I'm one of the best players in the country. So I just put myself in the best position to hopefully get drafted or make an NBA roster. Lastly, Jamil, we're a media outlet based out of Albany, and you've traveled here to Albany to play a number of times in your career in some of the biggest games of your career. You know, of course, that game when Peter Hooley hit that shot to go to the NCAA tournament. Last year it was a sellout crowd. You guys have sort of created that rivalry here with Stony Brook and U Albany, what did you like most about playing in Albany and the city itself? Uh, I mean, it's always great to. I've been up there a lot, a lot of times in my career. Um, the environment is always crazy when I'm there. Uh, it's, it's, it's a rivalry. Uh, the crowd is insane. Uh, they're a tough team at home, so it's just a challenge to try to win up there. So it's always great to play at Albany. Jamil Warney, former Stony Brook basketball player and future NBA player who holds the all-time scoring record at Stony Brook and led the Seawolves to the NCAA tournament this past year. Jamil, thanks for your time and best of luck in the future. Thank you.